Let's expose some Israeli propaganda. Welcome back to our series, Boycott Birthright and Other Free Trips to Israel, where we are going to follow along the Taglet Birthright itinerary and expose the propaganda behind every day of the trip. So today is day two of the propaganda trip to occupied Palestine, and we're gonna see what these people are up to. According to the Taglet Birthright itinerary, birthright goers will visit the city of Safa today. They describe it as magical, mystical, and mountainous. Let's take a look at Safad's dark and violent history. Safad is in a very strategic location geographically, and because of this, it was the most important town in the northern Jalil for a very long time. Its economic value comes from the fact that it lays along historic communication and trade routes between Egypt and Syria, and because of this, it was the prize for many armies such as the Crusaders. This is an aerial view of Safad before 1948, so feel free to pause it and take a look. Because of Safad's strategic location, it's no surprise that the city was targeted during the Nakba in 1948. Before the Nakba, the population of Safad was 13,300. After May 11, 1948, when the city was ethnically cleansed, the population was 2,300, a majority of whom were Jewish. Today, Israel has rebranded Safad to be a hub for artists who draw inspiration from its beautiful landscape. And that's all those who go on birthright will know. There will be no mention of the 1100 Palestinians that were ethnically cleansed from Safad in order to establish the state of Israel in 1948. There will be no mention of the economic opportunities that have been robbed from Palestinians that have kept them in an economic chokehold for the past 75 years. Not only that, but birthright trips actually perpetuate this economic chokehold because they are so profitable. Why would Israel tell the truth when there's so much money to make an ethnic cleansing and occupation? Why would they tell the truth when it's so profitable to erase history and re write it in your own narrative. So now I know and you know that the itinerary of birthright trips erases the narrative of the occupation and the history of Palestinians altogether. So what are we going to do about it? Well, there's only one thing to do and it's three letters. B, D, S. Boycott, divestment, and sanctions. We're going to boycott birthright and all free trips to Israel because we know that they're not telling the truth. And follow this series, of course, where we are exposing the propaganda behind birthright trips. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for day three.